Hi, I'm Chris from Dynajet. In this video, I'm going to install a Power Commander 5 on this Polaris Sportsman Ace. To install this unit, I'm going to need to pull the seat, the panel behind the seat, and the access panel at the bottom of the cargo bed. Using the supplied dual lock Velcro strip, I'm going to secure the Power Commander module to this frame bracket that holds the ECM. I'm then going to route the Power Commander harness into the rear left fender well. The single black wire with the small ring lug I'm going to route towards the battery and I'm going to secure that ring lug to the negative terminal of the battery. The ignition coil on this vehicle is located inside the left rear fender well. You can trace the spark plug wire to the ignition coil. Once you locate the ignition coil, unplug the black two-pin connector and that will look like this. Plug the Power Commander's black two-pin connector pair in line with those. Next we'll pass the rest of the Power Commander harness over the top of the CV clutch housing and to the throttle body. Here at the top of the throttle body, we can access the fuel injector. We're going to unplug the stock connector from the fuel injector and we'll plug the power commander in line with it. We're going to pass the rest of the power commander harness below the left hand side of the throttle body and we're going to route it underneath the throttle body towards the right rear fender well. Here on the left hand side of the throttle body we can find the throttle position sensor. We're going to unplug the stock black three pin connector from the throttle position sensor and we're going to connect the power commander in line with that. The last connection is to our vehicle's crank position sensor. If you trace the wire coming out of the crank position sensor you'll come to this black three pin connector pair. We'll unplug that and we will plug the power commander harness in line with it. And now that everything's plugged in we just need to reinstall the two panels in the seat.